Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. Welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. And I'm here in Times Square in the middle of Manhattan because this is where the new year begins. And it's going to be a very exciting new year with a lot of planetary action. And here's what that'll mean for you. Mercury, planet of travel and communication, retrogrades three times in 2019. Virgo, Mercury retrogrades in your seventh house of relationships from March 5th through the 28th, warning you that partners may be confused. Give them the benefit of the doubt, but stay on your course. He retrogrades in your 12th house of limitations from July 8th through August 1st, Bring a need for common sense in your imagination. Say, take time to clarify your emotions. His final retrograde is from October 31st to November 20th in your third house of thinking, warning you to be a little careful when traveling and speaking your mind. Venus, your gateway to love and romance transits for 2019. Virgo, Venus transiting your fifth house asks you to share creative ideas and there can be some romantic possibilities through that in February. When she's transiting your ninth house, she can bring mind and matter together and that is from May 16th through June 10th. So let your ambitions roam. When Venus transits your first house, she brings sparkle to your personality, and that's from August 22nd through September 14th. She's in your sign. And a second chance for love comes back from November 27th through December 20th, just in time for the holidays. But be careful with unusual ideas and the way you speak in mid-May when Venus conjuncts Erratic Uranus. Mars, planet of action and desire, transits for 2019. Virgo, Mars inspires you to expand your knowledge from January 1st through February 15th. You may start a new course of study and maybe meet somebody in school. Woo. He's in your first house from August 19th through October 4th. So leave your worries behind and get into high gear. It's time to express yourself and move towards success. But be careful around Valentine's Day when Mars conjuncts erratic Uranus. And then in mid-June when he opposes the rigid authority of Saturn and Pluto. Maintain your flexibility. Jupiter, planet of bounty and justice, transits for 2019. Virgo, Jupiter transits your fourth house of foundations all year. Now, you might want to seek comfort in your castle, but you may find busyness instead. You could buy or sell a house or move because you got a new opportunity. Make sure you get some quiet time because you are actually renewing your sense of self. When Jupiter retrogrades from April 10th through August 11th, he suggests that you reevaluate your emotional foundation needs. Saturn, planet of karma, transits for 2019. Virgo, Saturn transiting Capricorn in your fifth house of pleasure all year, asks you to focus on personal expression romance, and creative activities. Do you find enjoyment and fulfillment in your life or frustration? Do the children of your body or of your mind reflect your values? This is an intense time that can show you the truth. When Saturn retrogrades from April 29th through September 18th, he tells you to control your indulgences. Uranus, the Earth Shaker, transit for 2019. Virgo, Uranus transiting your eighth house until March is adding to your ability to renew your spirit. You can sense the other values that people have brought into your life. And when he returns to your ninth house on March 6th, 
your mind will be excited by new possibilities, so listen carefully. Write down the ideas that come your way. Flexibility and a sense of adventure will steer you out of the path and lead you to a bright new future. So investigate new subjects for the adventure of a lifetime may be a few steps away. Neptune, planet of spirituality, and Pluto, planet of transformation, transits for 2019. Neptune brings his subtle and creative energy to your seventh house of partners. He inspires you to deepen your relationships. And then Pluto in your fifth house of pleasure, woo, helps you enjoy creative, romance, and a deeper level of the simple joys of life. Woo. Now these were just general predictions based on your sun sign. If you'd like more accurate predictions based on your time, date, and place of birth, just go to my website, professorastrology.com, and there you'll go to the personal services page, and you can order a transit chart, which will tell you what's coming for you for the next 12 months. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. Please share these videos with your friends because they're free. And I hope you have a fabulous new year.